What's going on? It's somebody that you see. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? To think that violence would be perpetrated under the planet. Such ill omens are by no means a rare. Excuse me, is something wrong? Ah, you again. Nanaki's companions, yes? Forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar, one of the canyon's mentors. Now then, to answer your question, rather vile fiends have been sighted in the Vale. Ones believed to be portents of calamitous ruin. Really? The creatures have been observed on many occasions in times long since past. But always has our planet risen to the challenge brought her might to bear and staved off disaster. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you can see from these photographs, once the cataclysm has been averted and our world stands triumphant, gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. Huh. I don't see anything like that around here. Indeed. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by, but rather far from our current location. Perhaps we simply cannot see the miracles from here. The falling stars may have left their marks in the skies elsewhere. We're gonna go look for them, right? As if you'd ever take no for an answer. Truly? You would do this for us? It would be a great weight off our shoulders were you to find them. If you are serious, I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves there. Here, use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Photograph the comets you spot, though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Blessings of the planet be upon you.
Sure. Right. to your resume. <laughs> Let's look for other spots.
This is spot on, Cloud. Okay, two down. Just one more left. Let's go. Out of our way. Don't overdo it. You snuck a shot of me earlier. Nothing sneaky about it. Is that so? <laughs> hey, let's get a selfie together, okay? Come here. <laughs> oh, perfect.
looks exactly like the photo they gave us. Guess we gotta get these back to Caesar, huh? Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? The seminar is in progress. Mm -hmm. Ah, the falling stars have indeed revealed themselves to us. All three of your photographs are precisely what I require. Yes, these will make a marvelous reference for posterity. Hmm. As always, our planet is as strong as she is beautiful. No matter the calamity, we have no reason whatsoever to fear for her demise. Interesting. It appears that there are more comets than were previously observed. Perhaps this is a sign that our planet has, in fact, grown more robust. Yes, surely it is. And if we take note of their positioning and connect each with lines, just so... I see it! The pattern! An unprecedented configuration! What did you wish for? Hmm? Well, only what anyone else would. I just asked the stars to protect us from harm. Right. Of course. That face you made earlier, what was that about? Don't know what you mean. Guess the shooting stars have said their piece. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? for field work. I haven't performed any in quite some time. At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. I must have buried them awfully well. But well, field work? At your age? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you ought to let us handle it. <laughs> don't treat me like I'm some invalid. I'm the very picture of health. <laughs> See what I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever it is. You stay and rest. <sighs> well, I suppose I should pick you up on the offer while you're still here. Very well. I'll let you assist me. Good. Now, lay it on us. <laughs> And true, something has been troubling me as of late. Take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local region. Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point, but life springs are beautiful. They 
rarely remain in one location for long. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the least. However, it is not their positions which trip me. What the survey team has reported. Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. There, measure the Marco frequency using this meter of mine. All right, we'll do.
turn. Take it off. Nanaki. Hmm. It seems all but spent. Or perhaps it is on the verge of awakening. Wait. Is it just me, or does that sound like a weapon? Ah, yes. If that were the case, then maybe... Right, yes. We have not a moment to lose. We must continue our work. Doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? <sighs> the meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. <laughs> But that's not worth mentioning. 
More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels. Are you? No need to be shy. Yuffie! Nile! Hulk! Billy Bob! It's so good to see you! You too! We were worried you might not have made it out in time. Nothing can kill this bloom. <laughs> Clearly. Hmm? Say, where's Sonar? Um... Yeah. Hey, you three! <gasps> the splinter cell. Well, where are my manners? These guys are from Avalanche HQ. They're the ones who helped me out back in Midgar. And I don't think they need an introduction. Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me. Was Wedge with you? Or did you see him? <laughs> if you can tell me anything, anything at all, Please. Wedge, he... I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... I need to know. After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard... All the carnage... It was... Hell. We wanted to help. We really did. But how? It all seemed... So hopeless. That's when the call came, from the folks at Avalanche HQ. We learned it was the company that dropped the plate. And that they were gonna drop another, unless we stopped them. HQ needed volunteers to help storm the Shinra building. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. Wedge and I ended up being assigned to the same truck. We'll infiltrate the building via the underground parking facility. From there, we make our way up, taking each and every floor. Hmm. We've lost contact with the CS team. I think we have to assume now. That's enough. First, We'll check in with Matt. On it. Let me just scooch on over here. I'm Wedge with the Splinter Cell. Barrett's uh, crew, right? Mm -hmm. Here, try one of these. It'll help you calm down. Thank you. Go on, eat up. <laughs> Our team was heading upstairs to take out the president. I know what you're thinking. Avalanche doesn't do that. But when the plate fell, the rules changed. <sighs> For the assist? Oh, help me out of here! All right, we're almost there, boys. At long last, we're gonna take back our world, find the bastards who stole it, and send them to hell. Yeah! I've got friends up there who need to know we're coming. Uh, sorry, but I didn't want them to get hurt, sir. 
<laughs> Go! I'll catch up! Ray, we were all fired up. Ready to fight. on become one with the live stream. I know what you thought you heard, but it was probably just the wind. Yeah. Whatever. In times past, the Cetra came to fonts like these to give thanks to the live stream. There aren't many left, so we wanted to help preserve the few still standing. It felt like the least we could do, you know? For all those who returned to the planet. Hey, Barry, why don't we give them a hand? Help them spruce things up. There anything we can do for you? I don't know. Restore the planetary fonts? They're this region's main source of energy. And kind of like relief valves for the life stream. But when they're as busted as this one here, you can't even get close to do repairs. Mako's way too dense. So we figured we'd use a probe. Fix the fonts remotely. Thing is, the little guy's just too old. Probably better off in a junkyard than with us. Perhaps I can be of service? Robotics is one of my areas of expertise. Meet Robot Chadley. <laughs> or Robo Chad, if you prefer something abridged. At any rate, you should now have complete control over him. Go on! Ask him to do something!
the others ain't here to see this. Who says they're not? <sighs> What's that? I believe that light will lead us to another set of ruins. <laughs> and another font to fix too, I'll bet. Is it okay if we tag along? Sure, why not? Whatever beef I've got with you HQ kids, the planet's welfare takes priority. Something isn't right here. Be careful. wondering, do you believe in fate? That something out there controls our future? Oh, ho, ho. fate is a salve we use to soothe the sting of disappointment. We are the masters of our lives, Nanaki. Would you not agree, Cloud? Yeah, sure. unprecedented level of activity. Now let us proof that the flow of the life stream has shifted in some manner or another. The question is, was this shift natural, or was it the product of an external force? A question for another time. One location remains. see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow.
cloud. The Markometer, if you would. too old for this. <sighs> My point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated today. Though I harbored doubts, I now concede that you were right. Something is happening to the planet. Many questions remain, but I can share with you some answers. Life springs are founts of my home whose locations are dictated by the life stream's ever-changing flow. Yet in all my years, never have I seen a once thriving spring wither in so short a time. While still just a theory, given all I have witnessed, I believe the planet is changing on an unprecedented scale. Ah, the weapons. I first learned of them from amusing fables and Cedron tomes. Quite frankly, I did not believe they existed. I thought them merely allegorical. Thus did I dismiss the tales of your encounters with these incredible creatures. No, that's not it. In truth, I was terrified. Weapons are born into existence when the planet is in crisis when the survival of all creation is at stake. I hope you will forgive me my discourteousness. You came to me in good faith, and I turned you away. But we must face our fears. Only then can we hope to overcome them. And so I face mine. The weapons have come, and they portend a grim future for us all. A malevolent energy descended upon that life spring. Never in all my years of planetological research have I ever seen such a disturbing phenomenon. You, however, appeared unfazed by what you witnessed. Yeah. <laughs> you needn't explain, Nanaki. Indeed, it may be best that you do not. The experiences of others may skew our own perception of the truth. For the time being, quiet observation is key to unraveling this mystery. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, 
an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet. And the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted. Do not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just try not to overdo it. For me? <laughs> oh, now who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. A what? Oh, what did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the veil. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Narlaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your aid? <laughs> Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. We just got word from the survey team that they spotted the Gi right outside of town. Yeah, I heard. Are they okay? They weren't attacked, were they? Don't worry. Everybody's fine. Happened to be near the elevator, so they were able to escape in time. Though they had to leave their truck behind, unfortunately. Okay, I'll go take a look. We can't let more into the veil. Appreciate it. Just, uh, be careful out there. I'm... Fools of wretch. You think we shall be fooled again? But time is our enmity. Here we shall have our revenge. They're nothing.
overdo it. Seto, I'm his son, Nanaki. There's a lot of things I don't know yet, but I want to learn. Can you teach me about my father? About you? Heart, 
conceding the futility of our plight, and sank back into the dark depths whence we came. Yet the darkness granted us no comfort, and certainly not the oblivion for which we so desperately yearn. I... I know this might sound hard to believe, but I want to finish what my father started. I want to fulfill his promise to you. Is that so? And even if you don't trust me, Gina Talk does. He asked me to get back your materia. Like I told him, I'll do everything I can to make sure you can rest in peace. All I ask is that you wait in your cave until I return. And if we comply, you will keep your word. It might take some time, but I'll do it. Very well. Finally. At long last. And thus, the promise has been made. See that it is not broken, son of Seto. You sure about this? They're gonna hold you to it. And I hope they do. Dad understood the Gi's suffering, but he also understood others would suffer if the Gi ever got the materia back. He was willing to bear that pain for them, even if it turned him to stone, if it meant that he could spare others from their wrath. We just have to find that black materia, and we have to make sure that no one gets their hands on it, not the Gi or anyone else. But I do want to keep my promise. I'm going to find a way to release them from their suffering. There's got to be an answer out there somewhere. And I'm not going to stop searching until I find it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Spoken like a true watcher. You heard all that? Our hopes and our dreams give us strength. Remember that. Hold tight to yours. And see that you never let them go. In time, they shall lead you to the answer you seek. Thank you.